Daphne Keen is Jackie Lon. She's like the Padawan. And she's like the super smart one. But she's like the novice. She's the Padawan. So she has to like stay behind. <laughs> stay stay on the ship. But she, she does pull up. But like when it's about to get serious. <laughs> she's got to go back to the ship. Completely like understandable. Uh, Charlie Barnett. Yard Fondor. Yord Fondor is like. He's like a Jedi Knight. He's like. Um, he's like. Not new, but he is the newbie because he's like a, a a fresh appointed knight or whatever. But he's like all about like upholding, you know. <laughs> he's a good old boy, upholding you know the law or whatever. And uh, I guess we'll just put it that way. Manny Jacinto, Quamir. I don't know. I don't remember who is this character. I don't even remember. <laughs> Rebecca Henderson is uh, Vernesta Roa. She's Master Vernestra. She's this lady. She's bald and everything. She's has the green paint. Or she's like the green skin or whatever. Very interesting. She's like trying to get Saul to go out there to go. Our, our Saul convinces her to, or she goes up to Saul and says, hey, your former Padawan, this, <laughs> I'm just trying to break all this stuff down, just all these episodes, it's just insane, just watching all this content, and like, <laughs> and then, and like, in like a span of like, uh, 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 like, 10 hours or something like that, I mean, like, there are only like three episodes, but... We have to break things up. So she go. I will have to get into that. Abigail Thorne, Uris. I don't. Who is that? I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know who that is. So I'm telling you, this guy. He's holding the whole show down. He's holding the whole show for right. For what I know of, he's holding the whole show down. Um, he seems like the legit Jedi Knight of this show. <laughs> or the Jedi Master, excuse me. Let me put some respect on him. Um, and he is the guy that, I guess, finds Amanda, Amanda Stenberg's um, character, Osha. Soul finds her to be like a smart or capable padawan and like as i'm getting like it's like a father is 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 100 this guy has got to be um her jedi her jedi master the one to train her if if she gets in this guy has to be the one right <laughs> That was the vibe that I got. It was a very cool like relationship. Uh, and Dara's sick. Trinity, she's like fighting and everything. They have the kung fu, like the Jedi kung fu, and they give her the the respect that she deserves because she's Trinity from you know the Matrix, so she knows how to fight and everything. She has to do that choreography. So that was legit. But spoiler alert i guess they like kill her off in like the first episode or something but they i don't know they're i think there's like eight episodes or something like that they're gonna bring her back or something i feel like she's not really dead but they'll probably have to bring her back for some kind of other flashback if they decide to do that uh kel naka Junas. Is that the um Kelnaka's the Wookiee, right? Yeah, this is the Wookiee guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um the Wookiee in this 
I guess, like, talks to the young Aman- Amanda Stenberg's character in this so you could see that there's some kind of rapport that she's, like, they see her as, like, a good candidate. Margarita Laviva? I don't know who this chick plays as. Torben, this guy, is supposed to be Indara's Jedi uh, Padawan. He seems alright, but he seems like... They, like... I guess these witches, like, take over him for a second. That's crazy. Uh, Well, anyway, he ends up... He ends up killing himself... Or, or, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, he ends up self-deleting or something like that. I, I should say that. Um, in this, because he accepts the the potion, the poison that uh, 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 Amanda Amanda Stenberg's character as uh, May her, I guess the evil twin. <laughs> Goes and uh, assass tends to assassinates him or whatever. I don't. It's so weird. I I, I don't. So <laughs> this is like all the episodes now. I'm 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 just mixing everything in now. It's just wild. So. She makes a potion, a poison from this guy. Yeah, yeah. Come here, right? I think this is the guy. The guy that's like, uh, he's like the, he, he, they work for the same people. Her, uh, um, May and Corm, uh, they work for the same person or whatever. That's uh so he he makes a potion or a poison to give to Amanda Stenberg's character Ray to give to Torben to I don't wonder because he's in this he's like this really powerful force user now like years later uh, it's just so wild I'm trying to put all this together. It's 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 insane. Okay. And then <laughs> wait. So, so he, he's in this impenetrable force shield. So the May character goes to assassinate him, but she can't get to him because he's in this impenetrable force shield. So she makes the poison, goes to find him again and says, "Hey, I'm here." Fight me right now, or 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 that was the first time. <laughs> oh, no, that was the first time. She comes back the second time with the poison and goes, "Hey, I'm fi- I'm I'm here again." And then the guy finally wakes up, or, or he he finally wakes out of this trance. I'm like, "Whoa, <laughs> okay." Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this guy, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, yeah. So she put she puts the potion on the ground, and the dude goes out of the train. He, he he goes out of his force. And steps down and goes, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> and then <laughs> she he goes to take the the potion and she looks right at him like dumb dumbfounded. And he goes to drink it. And then it cuts to whatever. I don't even remember. It's, oh my god, it's crazy. Okay, and then his mother Anasaya. Okay, so they take after they take her last name. 
because they were taught they like they did the ascension this ritual and during that they like she gives them her name her last name or something like that but you hear their full names i don't want to say it because it it, it i don't know very interesting names though um this lady is like ah the mother and then um this oh yeah so where's uh carell the the lady that like helped this chick uh create these twins from the forest or something it's like uh, that's my understanding. Is that all the cat? There's no way that's all the cast. Or Eurus? Uh, is is your is is Eurus? Okay, Eurus is. Oh, okay. She's the Dathomir, or she's the the. The chick from Dathomir, or she's the Dath... I, I don't know, like, what they call those folks. Um, they're very cool, though. Um, so, her and this mother Anasea person created these twins from the Force? They're Force-sensitive beings? And they're witches. They're like a witch covenant. They're all females. <laughs> to my understanding. So. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, God, so much. It's so much. Is so much. I don't even know. So. Saul. And Dara. Um, the Wookiee. What's. Oh, what's the Wookiees. <laughs> they go on a mission. This is like all like a hundred years. This is all set a hundred years before Anakin uh, Skywalker, like the Skywalker saga. This is the lady. She's the director, right? These folks get sent on this mission. Oh my god, it's so it's so crazy. I I have to go back though because it's uh it's just so much. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much. This chick or this person, whatever they identify as, um May and Osha. Osha is this mech mech tech oh my god I, I can't even I can't even because we have to stay on this because we're on this there's <laughs> so much to this I don't even <laughs> these folks get sent on this mission because they are part of the Jedi order to go find force sensitive beings so they go to this planet Olega, Oleda, and what was the first one that he go? I, I don't even. It's so hard for me to so much because they cause they do the jumping and everything. It's so it's crazy. Um, ah, oh, okay, hold up. What else? It's just crazy. That's just like okay. Uh, right. <laughs> right. Okay, so we have, like, not like a script here. 
But we have the episode. Episode 3 here. I could just play it for you and just go like episode per episode. But like as right at the moment, I'm just giving the whole synopsis of the whole three episodes is put together. It's just so insane. These folks get sent. It, it, it really just starts because these folks get s sent on this mission to go find the four sensitive beings that are on this planet that happens to have this all witch covenant planet that produce two four sensitive beings that the Jedi are like obligated to train or to to test to see if they're eligible to become Jedi to serve as a Jedi in the Jedi Order or whatever. <clears throat> right. So they go to this planet to go find these folks and they do. Or they finally find them. They're like spying on them and everything. Well, you end up finding out that they were like spying on them. And I guess they find so they finally pull up and say, Hey, we know you have some two kids here. Where are they? <laughs> where, where are the children at? We we need them for our Jedi. We need to test them so we can bring them a part of the Jedi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so the Wookiee sniffs them out. Oh, man. Like, just breaking it down is just insane. Oh, my God. Just breaking it down. <laughs> I should have wrote this stuff down. But I I'm just giving... God. The Wookiee smells out the kids. Goes, hey, there's some kids here. They finally go out. And I like... This is like the third episode. I'm pretty sure now. Let me just go back now. Because we just went... We're just 32 minutes into this. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, so far, that's just everything. If you're just like... Going into this, what's the acolyte? I just, I'm giving you a, a lot of it. But there's a lot of it that you're not getting here. <clears throat> because, oh, so crazy. Oh my god, so crazy. So crazy. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Wow, I, I'm I'm just like I thought the uh, was that the last Jedi? Or was that Force Awakens? No, that was the last Jedi. I was just like, wow, that was like a terrible Star Wars. This is like a pair a terrible piece of Star Wars content. Like when I seen that movie, <clears throat> and I see this, and I'm just like. I don't even know what to say, what kind of content this is. This is just like, it's just so overwhelming or underwhelming. That's the word is underwhelming, but it's so overwhelming to kind of like, because once again, I just watched all three. Just wow. Just, uh, just powered through that. That was a lot. Oh my God. Um, wow. <laughs> Yo, because I want to, I, I really want to watch what Endymion and all these other folks have to say. But like, yo, that's like, that's there's so much more. These they have like a dynamic where can I just 
Oh, you can't even put footage because it, it, it's like I don't even know, man. Hold up, this is a critical drinker here, but like I don't want to put up footage and they like try to like take my channel down or something, great. Or you know, because I won't play the audio. I could just play, you know, something like in the back. Ah, let me go back. Yo, I'm 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 telling you, like they have like a very interesting dynamic. And it almost resembles it, it. It's like they took stuff from the old movies, like the original films, and they tried to do it for this, but in this new era. I just, oh man, this is wild, dude. Like, it's just wild. This chick's like an assassin, and she gets framed, or she just wakes up like one day and like. On some freighter ship, or the show. Oh my god, it's just crazy. There's a good and evil dynamic. There's a good twin and there's an evil twin. The good twin is off doing their own thing, and the evil twin is off assassinating Jedi, which are these four individuals. I don't even. It's it's so crazy because it's like she was posed. <laughs> She assassinates two of the two of the four Jedi that pulled up to the planet to go find the, them, these two four sensitive beings. Okay, yeah, to go find these two Force-sensitive beings. I'm like... Uh, it's just wild, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to put it all... I'm, 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 I'm trying to put it all together here. <laughs> But the whole time, th this covenant is telling these kids that, like, the Jedi are evil and that they're, that these, that these women are not, like, they're not welcome in the rest of the universe or they wouldn't like their kind because, I mean, because they practice magic right but you know i mean okay i'm i'm like i'm like dry I'm, I'm trying to draw all the things together here that they was like doing here for this and the Oh my god, it's just insane. Like what the good I, it's so crazy because I'm rooting for the good like the Osha or whatever her, her name. I'm rooting for the Osha chick. But then there's the maid chick who's her sister who's ruining everything. Who pretty much ruins everything. <clears throat> she like <clears throat> Yeah, this covenant <clears throat> is teaching these children that the Jedi are evil. That's what I was getting to. That the Jedi are evil and that they kidnap children and that like, and they whisk you off and you'll never see them again. <sighs> so there's like that kind of part of it like where you're like, oh man. So now they're making the Jedi seem like really bad people which I mean there's a whole side of that which you could be like that's a cool thing that's a bad thing and <clears throat> excuse me and meanwhile they're they like they as in the sisters the mother and the other yuru or whatever her name is are like <clears throat> 
along along I, I, I can't even get to that point because there's so much other stuff that builds up to that. Like it just took forever to get to. <laughs> it's just wild. Like so <sighs> Oh man. It's just <laughs> oh, this is crazy. It's crazy. I'm like, <sighs> dude, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> That's super cool, though, that Daphne uh, Keen is in Star Wars, though. I'll give it, I'll give him that. So, th th okay, so like, that's what I was getting to. The the sister or the the mother in, in the covenant are telling the <sighs> man the Jedi pull up and they're like, hey, show us the kids. They see the kids, everything. The covenant say, hey, we'll bring you the kids. Be because the Jedi say, hey, you can't deny us. The acts, the the right to test them. They go, all right, so whatever. The the Dathomir chick, or the chick from Dathomir, or whatever, she goes, let's kill them. Let's go kill the Jedi. <laughs> let's pull up on their camp. Screw all that. And the mother, I I will give them this. This a mother. Anasea or whatever she seems like somewhat level headed she goes no 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 let's not do all that let's not kill these folks or um or some s some random sister a part of the covenant goes oh well yeah yes the mother yes she definitely goes i i think she was a little bit sensible in this but some random sister of the covenant goes the if we kill them the jedi order like will pull up on us pretty much like yeah you probably don't want to go do that you probably don't want to kill these jedi like what is you know i mean they're witches like if they're gonna go you know do something but you know they'll stand on business but i mean obviously it's been <sighs> Whatever, man. If you look at the history of the Star Wars lore, or if you look at Count Dooku, Count Dooku will bring Separatist robots to go clean up your whole freaking planet <laughs> of freaking witches. It ain't even a thing, right? But um, anyway, uh, <laughs> so where was I? Talking about the witches covenant. Um, yeah, so they're saying, hey, Let's kill him. No, 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 no. Mother uh, Mother Anasaya goes, "No, don't do that." The wit the other witch goes, "Hey, yeah, yeah. Like we don't want to do that." So they decide, "Okay, let's just go bring these two children to these Jedi, these 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 space wizards <laughs> with lightsabers." <laughs> In their spaceship, in their in their shiny spaceship at their camp out in, out in the cut on the outskirts of their camp. Okay. <laughs> so they go do that, right? And they go do this test. And they test the both of them or whatever. And you see OSHA establishes a rapport with the Jedi. And then May, she just she had she wants nothing to do with them. She's gonna completely, even though that she is force sensitive, she's gonna, I guess, lie, which is what the covenant is telling the children to do is to lie to these folks so they don't pass this test to become Jedi. That's the whole point of this. <clears throat> um, right. 
Like, that's the whole point of this. They're just going to say, hey, d- lie. If they give you the test, we don't know what kind of test it's going to be, but whatever it is, just lie. So they go, and they do it. May goes first, and she does it, and then what do you know? <laughs> OSHA pulls up, and she lies, and then Master Saul this guy, the guy that's holding the show together, right? This guy, this guy's holding the show together. Goes, you're lying, huh? Something's not right. Or he goes, something's not right, right? Are you lying to us? And she goes, no. He goes, look, man. He like gets up. He gets up. It's it's him and his Trinity and Dara. And then it's um is this dude here? No, like it's the um uh, who else is in the room? Regardless. Oh, and it's Torben. It's it's Saul and Dara and it's Torben and it's young Osha all in this spaceship in this room and Saul gets up like this is some this is some cool acting man this is some cool acting I thought this was probably like the highlight um I think this was episode three but this is probably like the highlight of the whole show I will say it's the highlight of the whole show <clears throat> this guy he is like clutching he is like what it means to be a Jedi. Him and this Indara chick. They have like a very interesting dynamic of what they carry of like the ethics and morals of like becoming and the principles and values of um of being a Jedi master or just being a Jedi. These folks are clutching it. This guy Saul gets <clears throat> he goes, Hold up, come over here. <laughs> And he gets eye to eye level with OSHA. This is like some straight up mentor stuff. This is like, this is really like legit. This guy's killing it. And I did see this or hear this that um, I never watched Squid Games, but they said that this guy's in it. Um, a bunch of other, uh, Endymion and like a bunch of other people. Um, I never watched it, but. This guy, man, he is clutching the show. They give him the best part. He goes, hey, let me get eye to eye, you know, like with you. Are you lying to us? Look, man, just be real. <laughs> just be real with us. Do you want to become a Jedi? I mean, this is straight up. Do you want to become a Jedi? Like, I, I mean... Man, that's just very interesting to have someone have that, like. <clears throat> Let me hold that. So. He goes, do you want to become a Jedi? And she goes, you could see it. She is very conflicted, but you know that she wants to do it. But obviously she she's very conflicted because of. Her family here, <clears throat> and her and, and and her role that she she just, I guess, has taken because for, you know for uh, as she ascended as a witch or whatever into her coven covenant. She goes, I do, I do want to become a Jedi, and he goes, well then you got to tell the truth. I, I mean, like that's pretty straight. That's pretty straightforward. Like a, being a good individual. That's a stand up. That's a stuff. I, I don't know. It's not all like. Ho- I, I, it's very Hollywood because it's Star Wars here. But <clears throat> I mean, I feel like that's pretty good or great character development or like dialogue <clears throat> right there. That shows that this guy Saul sees, or uh, Master Saul sees something in this individual, and you can like 
in 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 that in seeing that you could tell there's i mean that should show you there's a big difference between these two twins <clears throat> um but anyway he just sits down eye level with her and just says hey tell the truth if you want to become a jedi you got to tell the truth and she does she goes yes i want to become a jedi and you don't see whatever that test how that how they retest her but i mean i guess that was the test right there <laughs> do you want to become a jedi like straight up and he looked her right in the face and you know but anyway it cuts after that so you don't really see what else that they do to test that and then um she walks out and may looks at osha right in the eye and she gets just gets upset and just walks off meanwhile like osha's sitting there and she's just like wow like I'm sure she probably feels disappointment or, or disappointed in herself because she just went up against her 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 folks, everything that she knows and loves, her her creators. <laughs> um, very interesting, I guess. Very interesting, and then just leads to, I guess, fast forwarding to. Osha saying, hey, like, I want to do this to her mom. It's like a sit down. So one on one. Now you get to hear hear the hear the one on one with um, Mother Anasea and Osha Anasea or whatever. And she goes like, yo, like to her mother, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to become a Jedi. <laughs> and um it's very interesting like i'm like why are these people these people are so strong on this but it's like if they were so strong about like how they really felt about all of this they would just see that this chick does not want to do this don't make this chick join your your witch cult <laughs> if she don't want to do it let her be you already got yours right i mean like that's that's personally how i feel about all of that like it's very unfortunate be, you know but that's just this universe that's what they unfortunately created here it's just that you know witch is gonna witch and if may wants to be a witch by all means, go let her be a witch. But if this Osha twin does not want to go do that, and if y'all are really this family and this loving covenant and all this other stuff, then let this individual go off and go become a Jedi. I mean, that seems like a pretty honorable thing. That's like going to go join the military or something like that. Like, you know, she feels more comfortable doing that. Her ties are a aligned in that <laughs> in that realm go do that so you know if you are gonna hold her from doing that that's pretty messed up but then you find out like the mother is like cool about it and goes you know what if that's what you want to do i accept that so i'm like okay i'm like i'm i'm expecting the mother to go you know what no 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 we're not going to let you go do that. We're going to be a complete freaking, you know, bad people and not allow you to go do what you want to do. But, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't finalized, which, which is crazy because this gets into the ending of episode three, I'm pretty sure. And we're just going to end it there. Oh, dude. I'm like trying to formulate. <laughs> I'm trying to formulate all of this. This is the show that she's in. I love this show. The um um ah uh, anyway. 
we got to get the name of that show like before we uh cut this she, an amazing show they got a season two i just haven't i don't know if i finished like watching it yet anyway um the ending of episode three right that's what we're getting to this guy oh my god um episode three um i'm like trying to remember what happened in episode three it's so crazy what they like the mother accepts everything uh or like okay so the mother she has to finalize it like but like she has to i mean obviously she's the ruler of these individuals here so she goes let me talk to the rest of the covenant about your i guess request or your decision of, of wanting to go join the jedi and i'm like yo that's a score let's go let's go okay i would love to see where this would go <laughs> i would love i would love to see the you know like the dynamic of like you know what of like the whole tribe coming to this agreement like yo we got ours let her go do her thing and then now we have like a jedi that's a witch and then maybe they can establish you know you're not supposed to see them well the whole thing of this is in that conversation they do point out that i can't like forget this is they have the whole thing stating that like yo the mother says i this is very important i think the mother or osha specifies like yo you know if i go with you i think it was osha and it explains like how intelligent this kid is that she goes you know i'll never see you again if i decide to go and join the jedi and she goes as if this is what you want to do go do it and like yo that's crazy that is so cool i have to say that i'm a fan of that I think I'm kind of suckered into that. That was kind of like, wow. Um, the ending of it. Let me get back to that. The ending. That's very important. The ending. The ending. The ending. Um, so you're waiting to see what that covenant what comes from that well that is even happen. well that that happens but you don't even get to see it like you don't even get to see them debating like you don't even get to see her hey i'm addressing that blah 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 that just happens in the background right that just happens in the background you don't get to see that the rebuttal none of that so osha i guess the jedi they decide to go prepare for osha to dip out because they're probably gonna let her go like i mean that's what it kind of seemed like to me as 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 zealot as like crazy as they <laughs> seem it seemed like as long as that mother chick or mother lady whatever was okay with it they were gonna let her go man oh my god this ray or, or may twin so it cuts to osha preparing <laughs> to get ready she's so excited oh i'm ready to go let's go it's gonna be awesome and this and her twin may pulls up and says hey you lied you betrayed us pretty much and now 
I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean you're not going to? Like, Osha goes, what do you mean like you're not going to let me go? She goes, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to delete you. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. And these are little kids, by the way. These aren't like adults now. These are little kids. I totally even forgot to even go fast forward to like the present time to where they're adults and she sees OSHA sees uh, May and like they're in a sp uh, I can't even get to that. Uh, well, yeah, like I have to get to that because I'm about to get to the ending here. So present day OSHA sees May. OSHA is with Saul here and they go to track down evil May <laughs> evil twin May and they see her and guess what they're about to get her and, and it, she Saul leads May right to Osha and Osha makes eye contact with May May steals GTAs, performs G in Star Wars GTA, throws, I don't know what this alien, I forgot his, his alien species type, they, th she, she throws him out of the whip, <laughs> and gets in the car, and Osha has the space laser, the space taser, space laser, I don't know what, she, and like, has it ready, <laughs> she has it ready and May sees her she goes oh my god you're alive because the whole time they didn't even know that they were alive but now Ocean knows it. oh my god man it's just like what is this <laughs> what what is this writing right now like who so May or Osha goes to fire and it uh, <laughs> Before that even, there's a really long pause. Like, yeah, you, you have to show that these folks really acknowledge that, like, they're twins. They thought that they were dead. But now they see that they're alive. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. So there's, like, a little bit of time. OSHA goes to pull the uh, trigger on the space laser, on the space taser, and misses and then her sister, still staring, goes and then gets into it, like starts the whip and just drives off. And then, what do you know? Homie Saul is in the background, ba ba ba, and he sees everything. He watched it all. <laughs> you let it happen. <laughs> Oh, and then that just fast forwards to the ending to what I was talking about, like of episode three. <laughs> this is the beginning. This is episode one. We've already shown this picture. <laughs> I'm just going over this. We're almost... We're an hour and three minutes. All right, so we got to get to this. We got to get to this. All right, so long story short. Um, oh. May, I guess, stops. She completely destroys the show, in my opinion. Like, that's to my understanding. This May twin... This destroys every cool opportunity <laughs> that could have happened from this show. That's what it looks like from the from what I'm seeing. She goes, "I'm gonna self or I'm gonna delete you if you go. Since you're gonna go, I'm gonna delete you." And you're like, "No." You're not going to do that. Like, I'm in the audience like, no, you're not going to do that. No. Yeah. She's going to uh, try to do it. So this mage 
Oh, man. She's like, she's badass, like, with the whole, using the force with the, with the kunai knives or blades or, like, throwing daggers, throwing knives. But, wow, the, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the IQ level is this, but Osha, Osha's IQ level is here, the May IQ level, I don't know, man. What is going? She is like absolutely crazy. She goes, I'm going to lock you in here or I'm going to take your. It was like some kind of scribe thing that OSHA liked or whatever. She takes it out of her hand and runs out of the room while OSHA's still in the room, closes the door and locks it and takes this lamp. This like fire lamp. It was like it's pretty cool actually. I don't know what it, it, it's. It's like a it's like a fire lamp. <laughs> it's a if you see it, it looks like a it looks like a fire in a bottle. <laughs> like it, it's, it, <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. She takes it and takes Osha's prize belonging it looked like some kind of writing on it i couldn't understand it it was just i'm just so flabbergasted that these writers but i get it though because there's it's like a cain and abel it seems like a good and evil kind of thing like you are clearly seeing that like one is really good and one is really evil and the one that's evil is really jealous so they go out of the way to go ruin it for the good one and everybody else in the process has to suffer so by taking that fire lamp she burns what osha's prize belonging was i don't know what it was we gotta oh man i i can't even hold up that's that's very important it's very important for this because I haven't. This is like spoiler. Ugh. Spoilers, man. It's a, it's a triangle piece. It's like a triangular book. I guess this is the. This is their. This is their teachings. This is a book of their teachings. And she was going to take it with her. Osha was going to take the, their... <clears throat> essentially, their their book of teachings. With her, with to the Jedi Order. Which, I mean, like I said, that would set off a whole turn of events for the Jedi... As in, they would learn all these different abil like from her. They would get these. They would get these writings. They would get these teachings, and then utilize that or do whatever with, because it's power. Now I see it, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's very interesting. So May burns his book, and in the process, holds her her sister in this room. locked she can't get out and then in the process breaks the glass to this fire lamp and it turns this whole place on fire that they like their home and destroys this reactor uh, this is spoiler alert this reactor Killing or deleting all of her, the, their whole family, as they're making this important decision on pushing of like the expansion of their of their covenant going out into the Jedi, like or like that's I can see that's very interesting. If I can, if you break it down to that level, that's very interesting. Um. 
I it's very upsetting that we won't get to see that or like I don't I, I mean I guess I'll have to watch the next whatever four or five episodes left to go like see that you know we might I don't I, so May burns the whole place down and then destroys their family and Saul So Osha escapes, May, I guess, escapes, and you see that they see each other, and one falls to their death, it looks like, and then the other falls, and then Master Saul saves them, and, and, or saves Osha, but doesn't save May, and... That's like the episode. Oh, man. I, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, that's it. I didn't really like, uh, yeah. I mean, like, that's like the, th that's like the end of episode three. So, I mean, to be real, I kind of want to know how this is going to end and how this ties to anything significant <laughs> in, in the Star Wars lore. This is in the High Republic era, but it's just like, I don't know, man. This is wild. Like, uh, so Anakin is not the sole chosen one there can be other chosen ones and apparently two women can create two other women child children through the force without a man that's man that's that's some star wars Finesse there, right? I, I mean, some Star Wars armor, plot armor, because it's the Force, but they use the thread. That's one important thing to to. Uh, I forgot to mention they, uh, which I completely, I can understand that because everyone, uh, r logically looking at the real world, every there's different religions. Uh, everyone has their own ideal of god or what the true all-powerful being that has created everything everyone has their own title for that so for this witch covenant is the thread now for the for the jedi they have the force i i mean it does combat a little bit with what George Lucas has provided for us. He's such a great and is like great and intelligent human being. He made something like creative. He's a creative person. He made something awesome. And these folks, I mean, they took something from it, but like I I don't know what I don't know what this is, man. Like, I have to see the rest of the series to really give my opinion on it. But, like, to, like, see if it's a real, real Star Wars. I mean, just because they got folks with lightsabers and it doesn't make it a Star Wars, man. Like, y'all got to be, like, sick into a real good foundation. And what this is is, like... I'm just so confused on like how any of this is important to anything like going on in the Star Wars universe that like has anything important, but I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. But like I said, I am going to watch the rest of this and, and give you 
folks my thoughts. It was really difficult for me to watch the first couple episodes, but I mean, I don't know. The third episode, after like seeing how hype people you know, people are getting upset, man, it's getting it's getting crazy out here. Like people are getting upset, and if you go to Twitter, it's crazy. Um, let's just go to the let's go to this, but like, yeah, folks, like that's that's what I think. I mean. I a score on a one through I don't even know man like Rotten Tomatoes gotten it IMDB's 4.1 10 Rotten Tomatoes 20, 29% like this TV show 90% uh, like I'm not going to say the show is all right it's the best Star Wars it's it's definitely not the best Star Wars this is probably like the worst I don't know. I would watch this over. I don't know, man. The Book of Boba Fett, man. Like, I don't even. I don't even want to get into that. Let's just see what happens. As of right now, man, this isn't good. Like, it. This is what Kathleen Kennedy and Dave Filoni and everything got cooking at Star Wars. Like, yo, y'all need to like. I don't approve of this, but you know, it doesn't matter what I think, right? <laughs> it matters what you folks think. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like, share, and the subscribe button. I'm your boy KWTB. Today we went over the Star Wars Acolyte, I guess, episode one, two, and three uh, episode reaction from me personally. Now, uh, watch the episodes let me know i mean do i recommend this if you're a star wars fan i mean i haven't really i haven't finished a bad batch i really am no rush to go finish that it's a cool concept but i'm like eh. um we watched the obi-wan kenobi tv show i wasn't a fan of that it's no agency and <laughs> it just doesn't line up with how george lucas is original trilogy was set um i didn't really like ryan johnson's uh star wars movies i didn't really like i like the mandalorian um one season one and two season three was like ah uh, visually is all right but it was just i don't know I don't know what they're doing over there, but they gotta like they gotta step it up, man. Like Star Wars is is looking like there's no coming back from it. If they can't like if this show, if this acolyte TV series doesn't like pick up, but it, it seems very catered to women and that's okay. I mean whatever. Give them their show. You know what I mean? Strong and independent women. You know, doing their thing, and there's so many beautiful, strong, and independent women in, in the Star Wars series already. I, I just don't understand. You know, maybe there's not enough. There wasn't enough. Let me know, folks. I'm your boy, KWTB. We got more for you.